My name is Harry Seeley and I'm a sustainability advisor with Halcrow within their property business group. What the job entails is basically examining or getting involved in, in the design stages as buildings being designed and developed to ensure that it's uh, got minimal environmental impact. Um, so you're reducing the ecological footprint and also the, the, the carbon footprint. I always knew um, that I wanted to do something to do with the environment. I remember when I was about nine years old telling my class teacher that I wanted to be a zoologist and everybody thought I was showing off because nobody else knew what they, the word meant. Even earlier than that, I remember at the age of five or six years old on the west coast of Ireland, my head buried in a rock pool um, watching the, the animals move around. Um, then fast forward to the age of 16, I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted to be a marine biologist or an RAF pilot. Um, so I took a year out of, uh, of, of, of school, um, having finished my Irish Leaving Certificate. Um, spent a year in Germany working in a factory, which has absolutely nothing to do with either flying aircraft or chasing whales. Uh, and then came back to Liverpool University, where I did marine biology. Um, and progressed on to do a master's in environmental sciences, because I think it's, it's important um, when you're entering the job market to have as wide a vision as you possibly can. Because sometimes what we have in mind is not necessarily uh, what we're potentially meant to do, well that sounds rather philosophical. At the age of about 19 I found myself at 6 o'clock in the morning um, on a freezing winter October morning in the middle of a, a factory having very very limited uh, school German and within four hours I was um, quite promptly holding up the entire production line because I couldn't understand the buttons to be pressed because they were all in German. Um, Quite thankfully, I didn't understand German well enough to understand all the swear words that were being hurled at me at that point in time. But uh, that's an example of um, working outside your comfort zone and having to learn quickly. But the, the, the overall opportunity was, was very rewarding. You take away something very valuable, and in fact, that it opens your eyes to other perspectives, other ways of doing things, um, other outlooks on life. The opportunity to go to Siberia was um, completely unexpected. Um, my previous employer had a, an exchange program where you could um, swap places with um, colleagues in a different part of the world. Um, I was in line actually to go and spend uh, a year um, working as a, a coastal zone management scientist in Brisbane, Australia. Um, unfortunately that plan fell through due to company restructuring and uh, the alternative I was given was um, somewhere on a map with a lot of Cyrillic alphabet, uh, which I didn't actually know where it was um, at, at that point in time until my line manager zoomed out and it revealed that it was Eastern Siberia. This is, is myself and a colleague um, on the exploration field in the middle of the Siberian um, taiga, which is the Siberian forests, um, at about minus 35 um, around January. and. Uh, at that particular moment in time there wasn't a blizzard blowing so it was still manageable. What it is I really like about the job is the ability to make a difference. Um, you get the feeling that uh, you're changing the way engineers are, are looking at their designs. Um, typically engineers are focused specifically on uh, solving a problem um, and are not necessarily aware of the somewhat softer side of, of, of environmental and sustainability. Being able to be instrumental um, in the, the planning process before those buildings get built, to be able to have the influence over design teams to say, no, don't build that particular construction on that part of the coast because there's a valuable coral reef there. Um, move it a half a mile to the east or west where you know, the damage will be reduced. Um, being able to have that influence on design is actually extremely rewarding.